Imagine having 35 bedrooms all to yourself. If you're lucky enough to be of royal bloodline or simply have a bank balance stuffed with more money than you could ever comprehend, then that dream is much closer to reality. Forget Beverly Hills and Billionaire's Row, these castles and palaces are in a league of their own. From Germany's inspiration for the Cinderella Castle to one of California's most extravagant mansions, to palaces and estates genuinely fit for a king, join us as we take you on a tour of the most luxurious properties on the face of the earth. Kicking things off, let's mosey on over to the largest state in Germany, Bavaria. Take one look at the foreboding Neuschwanstein Castle and you'd be forgiven for thinking you've just been swept into a real-world fairy tale. Well, it's not too outlandish of a statement. This truly stunning place of architecture was allegedly the inspiration behind Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. See the similarities? Originally built by King Ludwig II in 1886, the picturesque property is perched atop a rugged hill above the village of Hohenschwango in the state's southwest. It boasts towers reaching up to 213 feet high, plus turrets, frescoes, and one incredibly luxurious throne hall. But hey, you'd expect nothing less with a modern-day price tag of nearly $250 million. While you can't buy it and call one of its many decadent bedrooms your own, you can indeed visit. Tickets are just 13 euros a pop. On the tour, as we step inside, we're met with views of the cave-like grotto, the enormous king's bedroom, and then the singer's hall, among a handful of other jealousy-inducing quarters. Make sure to pack your walking shoes, though, because this postcard-worthy castle sits on an area of 65,000 square feet. From the colorful forests of Germany to the seaside hills of California, cast your eye towards the truly marvelous Hearst Castle Estate. The entire compound comprises four buildings, 165 rooms, and 127 acres of astonishing terraced gardens. And we don't use that term lightly. Seriously, take a look at the care and fine detail put into every square inch of the castle's grounds. The finishing touches bring an international flair. The courtyards are adorned with sculptures imported from Egypt, the pool is surrounded by Roman columns, and the chambers feature one-of-a-kind Art Deco ceilings from Spain, some of which date all the way back to the 1400s. Can you imagine sunbaking beside the Neptune pool or taking in a glimmering sunset over the Pacific Ocean? This, folks, is unmatched luxury like we've never seen before. The enviable estate sits here, on the hilltop looking over the Californian town of San Simeon. At his peak, businessman and newspaper mogul William Randolph Hearst owned more than 250,000 acres of land around the castle, in some directions, that was literally as far as the eye could see. So what's the value of the most opulent house in the country? According to the Smithsonian, a cool $700 million. Holy smokes. There aren't many properties in the country, nor in any other country for that matter, which could rival the pure luxury and status of Hearst Castle. Except for this one, the iconic royal chateau in Versailles. This mesmerizing golden palace was transformed by King Louis XIV during the late 17th century with the intention to display the wealth and power of his nation. And you don't need to look twice to understand that he achieved that goal tenfold. The sprawling ground comprises over 8 million square meters, or over 86 million square feet of perfectly maintained greenery, fountains, and decorations. As we venture inside, take your pick from one of 2,300 rooms which make up the palace. We'd be here until the cows come home if we toured them all, so just to knock off a couple highlights, take a peek at the exquisite Hall of Mirrors, which features 357 immense mirrors lining the gallery walls. The king's bedroom, and particularly his bed, is another feature to marvel at as is the Gallery of Great Battles, a room reminiscent of something you'd find in the Louvre. We know, we know, you want to live here. Same. Unfortunately, it's not for sale, and as a UNESCO heritage site, probably never will be. Even if it were, estimates suggest that the Chateau de Versailles would be worth anywhere between two and three hundred billion dollars in today's money. As arguably the most famous modern-day royal abode, Buckingham Palace has a number of very impressive claims in its own right. Owned by the British reigning monarch, in modern times being Queen Elizabeth II, this exquisite piece of architecture is not only a national symbol of leadership, but also luxury. The Buckingham Palace grounds span over 39 acres, protected around the clock by the Queen's guards. Shall we take a stroll inside? The enormous layout is decked out with a whopping, ready for this, 775 rooms. Under that umbrella, 
188 are dedicated to staff bedrooms, 92 are offices, 78 are bathrooms, 52 are extra opulent bedrooms dedicated specifically to royals and royal guests, and 19 are impressive staterooms, which, as you can see, are decorated with antique furnishings and more art than any one person could handle. No wonder the property has been evaluated at $5 billion. Besides the long list of lavish rooms, there is a larger indoor swimming pool where all of the royal children, including Prince William and Prince Harry, have learned to swim. As we hop across the Irish Sea, our next stop on this fascinating world tour is none other than Ireland's Ashford Castle. Pretty amazing sight, don't you think? The estate covers 350 acres of wooded parkland, offering everything from horse riding to salmon fishing on its grounds. But as we walk through the front door, that's when the castle truly starts to shine. Multicolored, shimmering chandeliers line the ceilings, oak panels dot the walls, and the array of centuries-old artwork adds a genuine touch of elegance. But how much does this giant estate actually cost? A property developer named Jerry Barrett paid a startling 50 million euros for it back in 2007, only to list it for sale on the market a few years later. So yep, if you had 25 million euros, just under 30 million American dollars in the bank, this palace could have been all yours. Could you see yourself living here? If you haven't saved enough pocket money just yet, you can still get a taste of luxury living. Ashford is actually a five-star hotel, with rooms on offer for between uh, 400 and 900 euros per night. Or if you're feeling a little more French, you could spend the night at the Relais de Chambord Hotel, a boutique dwelling which makes up one of the most recognizable chateaus on the face of the earth. This, ladies and gents, is the Chateau de Chambord, found right here in central France, about two hours south of the nation's capital. As we start our tour in the gardens, the unquestionably beautiful estate includes a decorative moat, French formal garden arrangements, which, by the way, just went through a 3.5 million euro restoration, and 20 miles worth of walls. Perhaps its most significant claim to fame, though, its size. The grounds sit on 13,442 acres of land. To put that in perspective, that's substantially bigger than the entire city of Lyon. Now, as we transition inside the main chateau, we're welcomed with 426 rooms. As far as fireplaces go, there's not one, not two, but a staggering 282, not to mention the 77 intricately decorated staircases. Okay, let's talk about money, even though it's not for sale, considering that a similar property, the smaller, more modern Chateau Louis XIV, sold for over $300 million, this one-of-a-kind estate could easily be edging toward the billions. Sporting finely designed gardens, making up arguably one of the most impressive castle entranceways in Europe, Denmark's Frederiksborg Castle really is like something out of a fairy tale. The glorious property can be found here, in Hillerod, approximately 18 miles north of Copenhagen. What was once the distinguished luxury home of King Christian IV, former ruler of Denmark and Norway, the Frederiksborg Castle now operates as the Museum of National History. Why? Because a disastrous fire swept through the property in 1859, with only the chapel and the audience chamber left standing. Following the rebuild, the royal family decided to start fresh in a new dwelling, leaving the elegant castle to be repurposed. These days, as you enter, you're still met with stunning interiors, historical paintings, and more impressive rooms than we could imagine. Just take a look at the Great Hall, the Chapel, and the Rose Dining Room, and then tell us you disagree. If this place ever did hit the market, anything under 500 million would be a bargain. As we scoot back over to the good old US of A, you'll discover the iconic Biltmore Estate. The 250-room French Renaissance Chateau is nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains outside Asheville, North Carolina, and it dishes up a long list of large, luxurious rooms. Yep, that even includes a bowling alley. However, what truly sets this property apart from its neighbors is its amazing amazing garden. But before we walk outside, take a moment to admire that 70-foot ceiling of the banquet hall. Okay, shall we take a look at the yard then? The grounds surrounding the castle are highlighted by a beautiful 15-acre azalea collection. See for yourself, it's a masterpiece. If the Biltmore Estate ever goes up for sale, the property has an assessed value of $157.2 million. Yikes. For around the same price, perhaps you could find yourself living in this place, the Schwerin Castle in Germany's north. Although you'd be forgiven for having second thoughts, considering that the castle Castle's ancient housekeeper, Peter Manchin, is rumored to haunt its halls to this day. Rebuilt between 1847 and 1857, this unique castle features towering columns, enormous windows, and of course, touches of high-class sophistication in every direction. The building itself sits on an island, protected by a natural moat. Although long gone is its purpose as a royal residence, today the rooms you see before you are dedicated to housing the state parliament. Before we take you on a tour of the ornate Schönbrunn Palace in Austria, which is hands down one of the country's architectural marvels, you might be wondering, what's the difference between a castle 
castle and a palace. People often use the two interchangeably, although there is a clear differentiation. A castle has strong walls to defend against attacks. Unlike castles, palaces aren't fortified for defense, but rather designed for comfort and elegance. Usually, you'll find castles in remote areas, and palaces within city limits. Anyway, let's circle back. If the exterior impresses you, just wait until you walk inside the Schönbrunn Palace's front doors. The UNESCO World Heritage listed site's interior is as lavish as they come. In every direction you look, you'll spot priceless decorations, stunningly laid out rooms, sparkling chandeliers, and so much more. But you can't leave this palace without checking out the Great Gallery. At over 130 feet long and 32 feet wide, of all the 1,441 rooms on offer, this one is unbeatable. Which one of these sprawling properties was your favorite? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the richest, and have a great day. Catch you next time.